And firefighters have done an incredible job of keeping flames away from homes in western North Carolina. But all of that could still change should the winds change direction. Our Amy Cutler has been covering the fires for us all week long. She joins us live in Bat Cave with an update. Amy? Sean, Sharon, the governor paid a visit here to the Bat Cave Fire Department to bring us an update on this Party Rock fire. At last check, the uh, number of acres was just updated, and it is now 6,700 acres of land that is burned due to this fire. Now, the governor said that uh, tremendous progress has been made, but he stressed that the fight is far from over. As he explained, the ground is still dry, the humidity low, and there is no rain in the forecast. The Party Rock fire has now burned, again, 6,700 acres across three counties. The governor explaining that firefighters have been using natural barriers like roads and creeks to contain the blaze. About 850 firefighters now working this inferno. And to put it in perspective, there have been about 400 evacuations, 400 people who have not been able to return to their homes. Now, despite all this hardship, one volunteer firefighter we spoke with tried to find a bright spot in this experience actually helped us all bond together throughout the, the few weeks here. And, and we're just trying to look out for each other and, and all our friends and, and business owners that in the community you know, were protecting their homes. It is really amazing to see that kind of support. Now, the governor also announced a $10,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest in connection with somebody who set one of these wildfires. The governor is saying that he believes that they are all man-made, uh, but at this point, he does not know whether they were intentionally set. That's still part of what they are looking into. Uh, and uh, uh, and now, uh, I also want to mention the donations that have come into this Bat Cave Fire Department as well as other firefighter uh, other fire departments in the area we're gonna have more on all of that for you coming up live at six o'clock live in that cave I'm Amy Cutler CBS North Carolina